Hello, I'm gonna read a story, a book about being lazy. This book is about Sam and his sister, Maggie. Reading about Sam and Maggie can help you understand and deal with being lazy. Have people ever asked you to do something they could do themselves? Hey, change the channel. The little frog say, I'm getting ready to hop out of here. She don't look too happy, does she? She's thinking, why don't you change the channel? He's being lazy. When you are with someone who is lazy, you might feel frustrated, angry, and resentful. You might feel the person expects you to do all the work. You might not want to be around the person. You're no fun to be with. You're too bossy and too lazy. Huh? What's a frog say? And that goes for me too. <laughs> It is important to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to be lazy around you, you should not be lazy around them. Would you like to play? No, thanks. No way. <laughs> Try not to be lazy. Do not ask anyone to do anything for you that you can do for yourself. Get things for yourself whenever possible. Good job, Sam, the daddy's saying. And then we need to put on your socks and shoes. <laughs> that little froggy. <laughs> Try not to be lazy. Keep your room neat. Help keep your house neat. Put things away after you use them. Clean up any mess you make. I wonder what else I could do to help. Let's hop down and ask your mom. Taking care of yourself, cleaning up after yourself, or helping out might not always be easy. Sometimes these things take work. Not being lazy is sometimes hard work. <laughs> At least he's doing it, huh? Try to have a good attitude about your work. Do not complain about it. Do not wait to be reminded to do it. Do not try to get out of doing it. Do not put it off until later. Thank you for getting your work done so quickly. Yeah, he really hopped to it. <laughs> you help the people around you to be happy when you are not lazy. You also help yourself become a better person. All right, now they're happy, aren't they? The end. Thank you.